Now phase eight is service discovery. So for service discovery, we're gonna be using console. So Nomad and console, you know, they're both developed by, by HashiCorp. So they're, they play very well here in this case. So what we're gonna do is deploy a console in development mode in our client. Don't do that for production. This is just for, for this challenge. So we're gonna run in development mode in our client. And later what we're gonna be doing is using console uh, or actually the, the, the load balancer and the front end will use console to find each other. And yeah, so here I just explained that we're gonna be deploying console as a binary. So for that, we're gonna use the exec driver. Uh, let me go back to the, to the console and I'm gonna create a file. So right now I'm gonna use a terminal. So console.nomad. For this, we're gonna do everything from scratch. Find the job, to find the group. Let's start with the job. So job, console. And the same way I need to specify the, the data center. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about the region. It's just gonna specify the data center. So the data center should be DC1. And that's an array actually. So that should be an array. Oops, wrong place. Here. After that, I'm gonna define a group. And you see that this time I didn't find a type. And I, I believe that if you don't define a type, the the standard um, the center is gonna be type service, right? So if I don't find anything, this is gonna be a service. If I wanted to, if I wanted to be a batch or or a system, then I, I would have to specify. So I have my group here, and because I just want one process running for console, I'm gonna specify count as one. Now for the task, I have console. Then I have the driver. So the driver, again, it's not gonna be Docker. It's gonna be exec because I want this to run as a binary. And the same way, exec also has a config stanza. So config. And here's where we're gonna find the command and the arguments for for the for the binary yeah so I, I want nomad to run so the command is gonna be it's gonna be console then the arguments let me just ident this so it's pretty so an array agent and the second argument is gonna be dash dev and during the during the challenge I, I saw that some some people were trying to do a command agent dash dev. Uh, that wouldn't work because for the command, you really, really just need the command and that's it. So that's why it would specify console. Then for then for the arguments, you, you need to split them. So that's why you see agent in one within quotes, uh, comma, and then dash dev. So even though they're both arguments, they're separate arguments, yeah. So in the call, in the in the terminal, you do console space agent space dash dev. So because there is a space between agent and dash dev, that's why we we split them like this. Okay, so that's the command console agent dash dev, and now we need to tell Nomad where to deploy, where to download this from, yeah? because we we're gonna be deploying a binary, so it needs to download from somewhere. For that, there is a a a stanza called artifact and for the artifact stanza you have a source and the source is the link to the console binary i don't remember off the top of my head so let me go back to the challenge and grab it from here yeah so it should be used yeah so it should be used console version 1.6.2 you know what i haven't even specified the the, the link here because I want everyone to to go and grab it. All right, let me do that. Why not? Feels like I'm doing the, the challenge as well, like with everyone. Okay, so I've got the link here handy. And this is the this is the link for for console. So you can see that I'm downloading version 1.6.2. And this is great because you can specify any version, any version you want. And one thing to to be mindful here is that right now I'm not specifying the destination directory for for the zip file. So if you do that, you might need to change the command to, to, to that path, right? So if you specify 
I don't know, user user bin. So you'd have to specify user bin here for, for console. And another thing as well, that, that that was a question during during the dojo is that they asked me, this is a zip file. Is Nomad gonna unzip it and run it for me? Yes, it will. So you don't have to worry about, you know, putting commands here to unzip it. Nomad's gonna take care of that for you, which is, which is great. All right. What else? Okay, so definition of done. All right. Okay, so we're gonna plan and run the job as always. And yeah, I put a I put a PS here, so just make things clear. You're gonna run Nomad run on the server, and what's gonna happen is that Nomad is gonna deploy console to the client. Yeah. So people, some people were a little bit confused where to run the uh, the console because console is gonna be running the client, so maybe I should run run uh, Nomad run in the client. But no, you're gonna run Nomad run in the server. And then the server is going to take the binary, download it to the client, unzip it, and run it for you. So this is my nomad server. I'm going to do nomad plan console.nomad. Perfect. So I can see here that it, you would be fine. You would be at all tasks su successfully allocated. Since everything's fine, I'm going to be doing a nomad run place so nomad run console let's see what's gonna happen okay so if I do a nomad job status or just nomad status console we can see that console is running okay perfect now if I go back to the client and what I want to do here is I'm gonna be running a PS dash EF grab console. And this is just to make sure that console is actually running in the machine. So PS dash F grab or pipe grab console. And okay, so we can see that it's running here slash local slash console agent dash dev. So console is running for us. And if I do a net stat, I grab that for port I believe is 8500. Yep, and also there is 8600 for console. So we can see those those ports there. So we should be okay. 